What I like the most about my job is seeing my dog. No matter how hard my day has been or how rough my night was, I know that as soon as I walk into my kennel and my dog sees me, how excited he is and how ready he is to go to work, to know that somebody wants to work that hard just because of you. Base Military Police Officer, we're here mainly to secure, protect, and uphold the law of the UCMJ. Our AO, uh, really it's any Marine Corps installation on the island. The Military Working Dog Section, we focus on random anti-terror. So we're out there and we're searching for possible acts of terrorism or we're taking measures to keep terrorism from happening out here at Okinawa, Japan. To be a Provost Marshal's Office dog in the Marine Corps, the dog has to be what we call dual certified. So it needs to be certified in detection on whatever narcotics or explosives, and it needs to be patrol certified. On a daily basis, we have to have our dogs outside of kennels for at least four hours. And that means doing anything with our dogs. So we could be doing basic obedience. If I want to do running bites with my dog or long distance bites, I'll work with that for a little while. Doing detection, uh, doing anything that really builds the dog in a training standard. But when it comes to aggression, the dog has to be able to do a running bite, a standoff, and those are the two main things that they need. And they need to be able to out on command. It's really an emotional connection with my dog. We've been through a lot together, we've trained a lot together. And it would be kind of the same thing in the infantry. You have your fire team, and you guys train and train and train, and it's just you guys. But when it comes to us and working with our dogs, it's just us too. I have to trust my dog, and my dog has to trust me. When it comes down to the point if a life or death situation happens and my dog responds, then I'm gonna trust my dog 100%.